<clears throat> we are in the book of Acts, in chapter 13, verse 4. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. When they were at Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had also John to their minister. When they had gone through the island unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus. Hmm. Ah. Which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man. We go for Barnabas and Saul and desire to hear the word of God. But Elimas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. You start preaching the gospel, you start preaching the truth, and the devil's got many elements that come on your way. Oh, yeah. This guy's called Bar Jesus. Bar Jesus, son of Jesus, but in reality, he was a sorcerer. Jesus is with a low case J, anyway, in this case. But his real name is Elimas. You see, the King James Bible is self interpreting. Also, his name by interpretation. Which stood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul. You see? So now you know Saul and Paul, the same person. Filled with the Holy Ghost. That is I on him. Interesting is Acts 13, 9. 9 is the number of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> 9 gives, you know. 13 is the number of rebellion. Then so also Scopo filled with the Holy Ghost set his eye on him, his eyes on him, and said, or full of all subtlety. How do you pronounce this in English? Subtlety and all mischief. Thou child of the devil. Thou enemy of all, our, all righteousness. Will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Oh, imagine. Full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil. Paul has got the spirit, and the spirit gives it, you know, discernment. Thou enemy of all righteousness. Oh, this guy was a sorcerer, you know. Will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, nor seeing the sun for a season. Hmm. If any must represent Israel, he's been blinded. He's not seen the sun for a season. It's 2,000 years eh? now. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Now, all of us say, I want to do the same. Whenever somebody opposes himself and attacks uh, the gospel of grace, be blind. No. No. Just don't debate. You just preach the word. 
Just preach the word of God. And if they believe, praise be to God. If they don't, what can you do really? Praise God anyway, because God needs to be praised at all time. If people don't believe, they don't believe. It's heartbreaking for me. Imagine for God. For Christ who gave his life for, for every one of us. Everyone, everyone, he shed his blood for everyone. He's the savior of all men. But then he says, especially of those who believe. Now, when Paul and his company lose from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia and went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. So why did he go to the synagogue? Where do you want to go? The only place where you can find people that believed or read the scripture was the synagogues. Okay? And after the reading of the law and the prophets, what they're reading? The law and the prophets. The rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, <clears throat> if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Now, I love when God does this. He gives you a fantastic outline of his operation in time. Very helpful. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, Men of Israel, you understand? Ye that fear God, Maybe there are some that don't fear God there. I don't know. Or maybe there are some that do. Is a man of Israel, he that fear God, give audience. The God of this people of Israel chose, chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt and with a high harm brought him them out of it. You know the story. Ten gods of Egypt, ten plagues. And then he destroyed Pharaoh and his army. But he led, he led his people through the Red Sea to the other side. And about the time of 40 years, suffered they, he, their manners in the wilderness. Suffered like you know, he had to put up with them, you know. But God is not suffering. We, me, no much, but we need to learn from the Lord. <sighs> Mamma mia, 40 years a long time. This number 40 appears many times. Moses, Jesus, Elijah, four uh, fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Moses the law, Elijah the prophet, Jesus the new covenant, the grace for Israel. Three times forty makes one hundred and twenty. Divided by ten is twelve tribes. <laughs> and when he, that God, eh, had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, you can't see these seven nations, they were giants. They were really bad people. Cannibals. He divided the land to them by lot, and after he gave them judges about a space of 450 years until Samuel, the prophet. Remember Samuel? Samuel, Samuel. And afterward, they decided the king, they were not happy with God being their king, and God gave them unto them Saul, Saul, like, his, like him, you know, of the tribe of Benjamin, you see? The son of Cheese, Cis, are, are you read? I don't know in English. In Italian, Cheese. A man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of 40 years. When he had removed him, because he was disobedient, and then we learned that Obedience is better than sacrifices, than sacrifice. 
When you remove them, you raise up unto them David to be the king. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. We shall fulfill all my will. Only the Lord can do this. He can read the hearts of men, you know. Of this man's seed as God according to his promise. <clears throat> Of this man said, as God according to his promise. Remember that God does everything according to what he has promised, according to his word. Depends to whom he gives the promise. Remember we're talking about God dealing with Israel. Raise unto Israel a savior, Jesus. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, and as John fulfilled this course, he lost his head. He said, Who think he that I am? He lost his head. I'm not he. Like, I'm not that prophet that Moses prophesied he would come. I'm not the Messiah, you see. But behold, there comes one after me whose shoes of his feet I'm not worthy to lose. It's an expression to say, you know, I can't even do that. Can you imagine? Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fears God, those who fear God, you know, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemn, condemning him. They knew him not, but they did recognize that he was the Messiah. Nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, like, you know, they read, 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 but they didn't pay attention to what the prophets were talking about. They have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, as a righteous man like Jesus ever walked the earth before, no, he's the only one. So they couldn't found, find a cause of death. Yet, desired a pilot that he should be slain. And when they fulfilled all that was written of him. That's amazing, you know. They took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulchre. The tree is the cross. The cross is made of wood. Was a cross or was a tree? It was a cross. It's made of wood. But God raised him. But God raised him from the dead. I love this. <laughs> and he was seen many days of them which came up from him with him. And he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings uh, that he pro the promise which was made unto the fathers. God has fulfilled the same unto us, the children, in that he has raised up Jesus again, as is also written in the second psalm. Thou art my son, this day I begotten thee. So Christ was begotten, the resurrection. Paul knows the scripture very well. Eh? So people say, why, why Paul is preaching prophecy? No, 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 he's quoting prophetic passages because what he's saying, it's not fruit of its fantasy. That's what people need to understand. We must be very careful. This is the word of God. This is not to promote a denomination or another denomination in competition. No, 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 this is to preach the word of God. 
God has said in Psalm 2, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, he said on this why, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore, he says also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thy only one to see corruption. Now, you know, Jesus was raised on the third day. So the Holy Friday thing doesn't work. Three days and three nights. That's another thing for another day. For David, after he had served his own generation, by the will of God, fell on sleep. It was laid unto his fathers and so corruption like everybody else but not jesus body i don't know if it's correct this i just said this if i'm wrong somebody please correct me but i i heard somewhere read somewhere that uh, the corruption of the body starts on the fourth day when somebody's dead the body of jesus he didn't see corruption because he was raised on the third day. And he said three days and three nights. The third, before dawn, before the sun rise, the Son of God, S-O-N, rose. <laughs> For David, after he had saved his own generation, by the will of God, fell on sleep, went to sleep, while he died. Was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. But he... Whom God raised again, so no corruption. Be known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. You see what he's preaching? And by him all that believe. You read that? Are justified. From all things. Wow. This is amazing. And by him all that believe. This belief part is important. I justify from all things. From which ye could not be justified. By the Lord Moses. You could not be justified. Wow, this word of God is something. Beware, therefore, lest they come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish. Wow. My, my, my. For I work a work in your days, a work which which he shall not in no wise believe, though a man declare unto you. God knows everything in advance. You, you know that. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that this word might be preached to them the next Sabbath. So they were God-fearing Gentiles. These were the people that all you fear God. They were proselytes. They were people that wanted worship the God of Israel. Now, they are the one that God says, when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles be so that this was and be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now, when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes, Paul, Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. That's it. So God tell me now that he's preaching the gospel of the kingdom. He's not. He's preaching the gospel of grace. Speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath, 
Next Sabbath day, sorry, I didn't read, read properly as often in my English, came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. <laughs> but when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which are spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming, blaspheming, blaspheming. You know the story. I apologize. I'm Italian. I can't read probably sometime, you know. I read again. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, look what's happening here, you know. They were filled with envy. They spake against those things which are spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas, Barnabas <laughs> waxed bold and said, it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of a lasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so as the Lord commanded us. Who is your apostle now? Peter? Nah. Oh, saying, I set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that that should be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. Wow. <laughs> wow. I want to see in this Bible, here, Acts 13, 47, in this Bible here, Like this, open this, Acts 13, 47, come on now. Hmm, this is the Bible, it's got many references. Maybe this one is, there is a reference exactly where it's been said that. Acts 13, verse 47. For so have the Lord commanded us, saying, I said thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou should be for salvation unto the end of the earth. In Isaiah, he said, It is a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob to restore the preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to, to the Gentiles, that thou might be this, my salvation unto the end of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, <laughs> they were glad. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Glorify the word of the Lord. I love this. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. They were ordained to eternal life because they believed. You understand? That's what it means. It's not a question that God chooses. This is not Calvinism. If you believe, you are ordained to eternal life. Because the moment you believe, you receive the free gift of eternal life. For everyone. You're a Jew, you're a Gentile, doesn't matter. Christ is the Savior of all men. But you need to believe. And that the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women. Oh, man. And the chief men of the city. <laughs> and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their cause. Mamma mia, now these people are there in hell. You think they're considering what they did? I don't know, but they are in hell now. Already 2,000 years. What a poor choice. You, you know, you reject Christ who gives you eternal life just to grab the misery of this earthly life. It doesn't matter if you reach a fantastic, super-duper, whatever, you know. 
This is nothing, it's all vanity. Unfortunately, they chose to reject Christ and the servants of Christ, Paul and Barnabas. But they, Paul and Barnabas, shook off the dust of their feet against them and came unto Conion. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. Love this. I was looking for this guy, Paul. Because, you know, people say, you know, I follow Jesus. Other people say, I follow Peter, I follow James. Paul, 159 verses. Go here. Go in the book of Romans. What do you read? Let's see. Come on. Come on now. Romans 1 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. 1 Corinthians 1 1. Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. And so is in our brother. 1 Corinthians 1 12. Now, this I say, everyone says of you, I'm a Paul, and Apollos, a Cephas, and this is when there are divisions. The salutation of me, Paul, with my own hand. Second Corinthians 1 1. Paul, Apostle Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, a brother. Now I put beseech of you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence and base among you are Paul, an apostle, not of man, Galatians 1 1. Neither by man, but Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. Galatians. Verse 5, verse 2, chapter 5. Behold, I post say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ your prophet, you know nothing. Ephesians 1 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God. Ephesians 3 1. For this cause I pour the prison of Jesus Christ for you, Gentiles. Philippians 1 1. Paul, the mothers, the servants of Jesus Christ. Colossians 1 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, a brother. What of I, Paul, and my the minister? Colossians 4 18. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul, remembers my book. 1 Thessalonians 1 1. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy. It's a new triplet. Peter, James, and John. Now you got Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus, the rotation of Paul. Friends, why don't you do one thing? Just don't believe me. Just get this Bible. Your King James Bible. A research. In Acts 9, in verse 15, The Lord said to Ananias, this is not the, the one in Pisidia. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for is it chosen vessel unto me? Who? Paul. To bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and children of Israel, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. I finish with this. Follow Paul to follow Christ. Rest in peace to all.